Hello guys! In this video, I will be showing you how to use DHT22. And later, let's create a simple weather station based on DHT11 and DHT22 with OLED display. Let's get started! The DHT22 is more expensive version which obviously has better specifications. Its temperature measuring range is from minus 40 to 125 degrees Celsius with plus minus 0.5 degrees accuracy. Also, the DHT22 has better humidity measuring range from 0 to 100% with 2% accuracy. With the specifications out of the way, we can use the Arduino Uno and a breadboard to connect in the DHT22. Connect the VCC to the 5 volts of the Arduino, the minus pin to the ground, and last, the out pin to the pin 4 of the Arduino Uno. Then, we can connect the Arduino Uno into the computer. In Arduino IDE, Go to Tools and click the Manage Libraries. Then, search for Troika DHT by Igor Dementiv and install it in your Arduino. After installing, go to File, Examples, and look for Troika DHT that we installed earlier and click the test DHT sketch. In the example sketch, replace the DHT11 into DHT22. And always check your board and ports before uploading. After uploading, go to Serial Monitor, and as you can see, it prints the temperature in different units. It prints degrees Celsius, Kelvin, Fahrenheit, and humidity. Now, I want to use this 128 by 64 OLED display to print those values. But before that, subscribe and hit the notification button for more videos coming. After you connect the OLED display according to this diagram, we can proceed to programming. I already created the code for these changes. First, I included the Adafruit SH1106, Adafruit GFX, and font for the OLED display and I obviously included the Troika DHT for the DHT22. Next, in the global var, I set the necessary things for the OLED and set the pin of the DHT to pin 4. In void setup, I set the necessary begins for the OLED and DHT22. Next, in void loop, I just printed the temperatures in Celsius, Kelvin, Fahrenheit and also printed the humidity then set a 1 milliseconds delay and that's it then click upload as you can see we successfully printed the previously mentioned values to the OLED display Now, I want to make a weather station based on DHT11 and DHT22. And don't worry if you miss something in this video because all codes and schematics are always in the video description. 
After you connect the DHT11 in the breadboard according to this finalized diagram, we can again proceed to programming. I already created a code for these changes. I just added the DHT11 in the global var and set the begin for the DHT11 and printed the values for the DHT11 to the OLED display. After those added changes out of the way, click the upload button. As you can see, it prints the temperature for both DHT devices. And the printed temperature values is not that far away to each other. But the humidity in DHT11 is inaccurate. But nevertheless, you can now start a simple weather station using these two DHT devices. I hope that you like this video. If so, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That would be great and will help me a lot. Thank you. And I will see you next time.